We're heading to Yang Yang. Wait, I feel like we're gonna be really in July, we left Seoul to celebrate my friend Heejay's birthday and my birthday at the beach. Yang Yang Beach is famous for surfing in Korea, which is something both my friend Heejin and I love to do, so it was a great way to celebrate our birthdays. <laughs> After spending the day at the beach, we then headed to our Airbnb for the birthday celebration. We're home! Wow, artsy! What does it say? Two job. Two job. Two job. Welcome to my house. Have a great time. That's so sweet with your friends. Thank you, Joe. Good old Joe. It's actually really cute. It's actually wow, Joe, we did it. We did it, Joe. <laughs> My friend Darla, who is the quiz queen, even put together a birthday trivia game for all of us to play together. After dinner and cake, it was time to sing our hearts out in a norebang, or a Korean singing room.
The next day, which was July 4th and Heejay's actual birthday, we all had lunch together and prepared to return to Seoul since it was Sunday. My sister messaged me and told me she was going to be sending me videos she'd arranged for me to receive throughout the next day on my birthday, July 5th, from friends and family so we could all still be together, even though we were in different parts of the world. I wanted to put some of those videos in this vlog to show how loved I truly felt this year, and to say thank you to everyone who helped too. Feel the rain on your skin, no one else can feel it for you. You all give me so much hope every single day, and I know I wouldn't have made it this far without all of the people who've helped me get here. Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday, James! Happy birthday, James! Bro, I miss you so much. You're gonna be 25, which is halfway to 50, which is halfway to 100, which means you're almost 100. Hey, James! I think that my one of my favorite James memories is um, when we got to go to Cambodia together. Uh, you showed up like immediately to the, the old mango house and. Uh, we just got in your car and just drove, uh, drove down Palm Beach Island for and who knows how long and we're just, you, know, you were just talking and um, that was really, you know, just a special moment and I want to say that was maybe even the night that we decided that we wanted to go to Cambodia. For me, it was definitely the Busan Firework Festival, number one, because Steph was not there with us. Um, <laughs> And number two, I just feel like you're the only person who was at that festival who like matched my level of excitement. Uh, just how much fun we had together and how great your laugh is. Oh yeah, when I was thinking about a favorite memory, I couldn't, I honestly couldn't pick one. Um, but I just got thinking about all the times where we were laughing till we were crying and you were doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, can't think of a childhood memory without you in it. I just think about us singing Hillary Duff to people who would listen to us. I think about swimming and chicken tenders. In middle school, you went around to a bunch of random people and asked them if I should get a belly button ring. <laughs> and, and you made a video about it and it was the most weird and random thing because I had never in my whole life mentioned getting a belly button <laughs> ring. And it was like the people people I've never I had never met before. And then it was like this video of James going up to them be like, should Riley Wolfgang get a belly button ring? And my favorite memory, I mean there's like a billion, but I would say probably the memory that comes to mind is that year at Camp Challenge where you literally took me to every person around camp and asked if I should go to Madison Park or Eastside when I went to college. And of course I chose Madison Park and then it's just the rest is history from there. It was so nice that you were just so open, you know, to talk to me and be friends. So I definitely tag you as one of my first friends at PBA and in the Estados Unidos in America. Love you James, you're such a good friend and I'm so grateful for your friendship in our lives. Happy birthday! One of the students opened up the box, he jumped, and you had bought a lobster. The funniest part of the story is when we realized that you'd poked holes in the box and lobsters don't need air, they need water. There's so, so many happy, hilarious, awesome memories that we've shared together. We've been married a few times. Not officially, but you know. When we went to coffee and conversation at Primrose with your grandpa, and we sat there and he was so happy. Um, but we sat at that table and that really old man came up with his iPad and kept zooming into pictures of us. I probably have those pictures somewhere in my email because he took down my email and emailed them to me. You know, you're always someone who's going to like push me to do the fun thing and the right thing. Um, so I think that's really what I appreciate about um, our friendship. Definitely one of my go-to partners in crime, and I hope you have a great birthday. James, I love you, and I really care about you. And I hope that you're killing it there, as well as you were killing it here. Happy birthday, James. Love and miss you so much. Um, hope you have a great day. I wish we were there with you for your birthday like we normally are, but um, we're really proud of you. Love you, brother. Beach says happy birthday, too. We got into a conversation about what hope meant to us. Um, and there was just so much peace and joy that day. And that conversation was one of the most meaningful conversations of like the whole year to me. And especially talking about it in the context of the interesting year that had just happened. But you bring that same just hope and joy into every conversation, every interaction you have with people. I'll never forget that night 
when all the fireworks were going on downtown Anderson, because we were at St. John's, and your dad looked out and saw the fireworks and he said, isn't that neat that they're set, setting off fireworks to celebrate the birth of our son? Sweet, I love that. When you were a little boy, there was a picture of you taken right here. I took that photograph and then I took it to Mrs. Newman, who you will remember, and she helped me, and this is what I made. And I don't think you've ever seen it, and I'm not an artist, but that is a very special picture to me. You were riding down to Indianapolis with Grammy and g -Paw and I, and you were at school, probably first or second grade, and they had taught you this alphabet song and you really wanted to sing it for us. So you started singing it, and you went all the way through A, and all the way through B, and all the way through C, and we got to lapel, and then we said, oh, that's so great, we love that. And then there was a pause, and then you kept going. <laughs> and so by the time we got to Indianapolis, we had heard the whole song. I can remember the fifth, first fifth better than you can. We were having fireworks, right out the hospital window. And it was great. And you were born. Happy birthday, my brother. You are 25 years old and I cannot even believe it. And just so you know, that woodpecker has been behind me this entire time. Um, that's just so cool. Grandpa's totally, totally with us and with you always. Um, but I just think it's so cool how sweet people have been about these videos. I hope you've enjoyed them. I hope that you've smiled and laughed. That was the task. I said, um, send a happy birthday video with your favorite memory that would make James smile or laugh. Have you found James yet? No, I've been looking all over for him. Happy birthday, James. Happy birthday, James. Hope you're having a wonderful time. Okay. Oh. Keep going. <laughs> James. No, I haven't. That's just our friendship. You always have the funniest things. Um, and that's what's going to get you through life, Jamer. Like when you're a husband and a dad and when things are tough. Um, and even, even now you do that. You laugh and you um, make sure everything's okay and then um, you just have the funniest comebacks and the funniest moments, and I love that about you. So you brought so much joy and laughter into our lives, and today I hope you feel loved and celebrated. We miss you, and um, we seems like you you're so doing much. awesome in Korea. We'll talk to you soon. Thinking about you, have a good birthday, and I'll be anxious to see you whenever that good time occurs. I hope you've enjoyed these all day and just felt the love that you so deserve. And um, just know that we love you so much and the best is yet to come for you. You already know that. But I think of the scripture, Proverbs 16:9. In um, their hearts, a man will determine their course, but it's the Lord who determines their steps. And I just believe that with all my heart for you, bud, that um, God will determine every single thing that you do and um, that we can plan what we think was gonna happen. Um, and then God does so much better. Like, look where you're at right now. God is so much bigger and so much better than we ever thought. So I love you and hope you have the best 25th birthday quarter of a life, buddy. Here's to you. And um, just know that I'm always with you, that grandpa is always with you, um, and that our family loves you so, so very much. <laughs> my sister definitely accomplished her goal of making me feel so incredibly loved on my birthday this year in South Korea. The last 25 years have been filled with so many beautiful moments and places. But the people I've met along the way are really what have made this journey so special. I know there is still so much love and hope yet to come in the next 25 years as we continue to journey through this side of eternity together. I really do believe the best is yet to come. With hope, I'm James. Thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's I love you in sign language. I love you.